Andrew, good morning. This investigation continuing. The shots ringing out at 2 o'clock this morning, leaving one man dead inside of Doubles nightclub. Others transported to area hospitals. As Hamilton, Hamilton police continuing their investigation. People inside say that multiple shots were fired. We've seen shell casings, about 15 to 30 shell casings in their markers out in the parking lot as well as inside of this club, indicating multiple shots fired. Witnesses say that they saw a gunman running out of the back of the club and out into the woods where canine officers were able to kind of try to track the shooter. At this time, we do not have a description of the perpetrator, but again, Hamilton police continuing their investigation, asking for anyone with information to come forward. This was a crowded nightclub on a very busy, busy Saturday night. Lots of people inside when the shots went off. We do not know if the victim was the intended target of the shooter, whether or not he was just a uh, innocent bystander. Lots of shots were fired inside, striking several people. We talk with witnesses who say they just tried to cover up as best they could, thinking that their lives were in danger. Uh, we're going to work with the ownership and the management to make sure it doesn't happen again. We'll be talking with them. We'll be taking a look at the calls that we've had over here. But I can tell you it's not the first time we've been over here. Um, and um, again, this, an incident like this is, is, uh, is unacceptable. Won't be tolerated, but we need to take a look at that and work with them. Now, again, that's the Hamilton Police Chief. They do say that there is surveillance video from the other businesses here. They are going to continue to look through that video. They are also, again, canvassing, talking to witnesses who were inside, but again, continue to ask anyone who may have information to come forward. Megan and Andrew. Yeah, chaotic scene in Hamilton. Richard, do police have any idea who that shooter is? Oh, again, Megan, as I mentioned, they do not have the suspect information that they're passing on at this time, but there were several people inside of the club when the shots rang out. Police have continued to canvas and continue to interview a lot of people here on the scene. They're also asking others to come forward if they have information. All right, Richard, any idea when police might give us a little bit more information about the exact number of victims, things like that? Well, Andrew, as you know, this is a continuing and developing crime scene. The police priority certainly is to gather as much information on the scene before releasing this property. They certainly want to make sure that they can gather as much accurate information so that when they are able to make an arrest, that arrest sticks. So that is their priority and not necessarily setting a timetable. Richard, thank you. And several witnesses reached out to us on social media and email as soon as that shooting happened. WLWT News 5's investigative reporter Todd Dykes is in our newsroom now to show us more about what they're saying, Todd. Hey, Andrew and Megan, shortly after the bullets started to fly, as you mentioned, viewers did reach out to our newsroom to let us know what the scene looked like from their vantage point. One man, Shane Thomas, sent a photo of doubles, uh, the bar where the mayhem unfolded. Thomas says he took the picture you see here a little after 2 o'clock this morning, <clears throat> excuse me, adding that an eyewitness told him that somebody had walked into the bar and started shooting. That mirrors what Richard's been reporting as well there in Hamilton. Uh, Thomas saying that um, the eyewitness rather told Thomas that his cousin had been hit by a bullet in the face. He says after the shooting, police were also running toward a nearby Planet Fitness with their guns drawn, though he's not sure if they were looking for the shooter at that uh, workout center or trying to find somebody who knew more about what had taken place uh, during the early morning hours uh, this morning. On Facebook, we can tell you one viewer described seeing victims outside the bar's parking lot with at least one man, quote, covered in blood, screaming he had been shot. All right, that's the latest for now online in the newsroom. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.